Okay. Hi, everybody. We're back. Uh, we were off on vacation last week in Yellowstone. Wow. What an adventure that was. We've been before, but uh, <laughs> let me tell you, it's always an adventure, especially this time. There was a vehicle, uh, 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 like a vehicular impact, a person trapped between cars. It's people are, everybody seems to be okay. We were the, we were struck person between our car, our car, my truck, and their car. It was a crazy day. Anyways, if you, you want to know more, you can send me a message. <coughs> but tonight, uh, when we were there, on our way back, we were in uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. We got this sour cream, lemon sour cream pie, or sour cream lemon pie. And it was real good. And I thought, I can do better. So, <laughs> I did, <laughs> I think. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to make this, it's a pretty, everything comes together fairly fast. What you need to do first, though, is, so we made the, that crust, that sour cream uh, pie dough crust last week. So uh, go back, watch last week's episode for the ham pies, and you'll see how to make that recipe. So because you're going to want to, you need to get this, this, this is the, the crust that you need to get ready before everything's out. So make this the night before or whatever it is and get it because this is par-baked. It's not all the way done, but once we put the sauce, it's, it's cool now. And once we put the lemon curd in here and the whipped cream that we're going to make on top of it, then it has. Then this is going to have to go into the refrigerator for two to three hours to set. We've already got one going that's probably been in there about an hour and 15 minutes. So by the time we get to that uh, swap out, we'll be able to have some, hopefully this <laughs> evening. Uh, along with that, we're going to make a lemon drop as for our cocktail tonight because, you know, let's keep it the lemon thing. Um, all right, well, that's great. How was your week? I hope it was well. Uh, if you didn't know, Tuesday was Amy's birthday. Uh, <laughs> we were in our, one of our favorite spots for it, again, Yellowstone, and so we had that nice uh, niceness as we were doing that. But let's get into this because this is going to heat up, and then it's going to cool. So I want to get to that point, and then I got a special surprise. It's just us tonight. It's, it's just tonight. us. Yeah, uh, Denise is in vac on vacation in South Dakota with the parents. And so, um, see in Mount Rushmore. Yeah, they're having a great time. All right. So first thing we want to do is um, we need a we need a cup of sugar um, because we're basically making a variation on the lemon curd we made uh, for the what was that the what did we make with those those uh, oh uh, cheesecake lemon cheesecake lemon curd cheesecake uh, like in a little jar. Remember. Not lemon. It was, yeah, it was lemon. lemon. Curd? Yeah, we made it with lemon curd. Yeah, so that, that is what it's called. Yeah. yeah. So we need a cup of that. That's going to go right in there. And then um, this weird measurement for uh, for the uh, is that Denise? Yes. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hi, Denise, if you're watching. Um, so this is three. We need three tablespoons and one and a half teaspoons. Um, if anybody wants to do the unnecessary conversion out there, unnecessary conversion. <laughs> uh, John, if you're out there, go for it, buddy. So we need three tablespoons of, of, of this cornstarch. And again, the cornstarch is the thickener that we want. Um, man, I'll tell you what. We were out in the boonies of Yellowstone, and our phones don't work. So, like, that's not true. Most they, people's they work. phones don't work. They work, but there's no service, really. Uh, except for in the late of the evening when your phone goes bing, 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 or if you're in a weird valley area that somehow gets signal. So that's three of those. Um, and then, or you're like that teenage girl who was a wizard. and She was a wizard. Or she was just faking it and just talking to herself on the phone for yeah. like an hour in front of the... Yeah, we oh, our <laughs> room, which was very nice at the Canyon Village, um, was uh, one and a half. So, um she was just sitting out there on the phone for like an hour, but we had about a little deck or a patio, and, and we were watching. She was just out there for the longest time, and we we're like, "What's happening?" That is the only time we saw, except for another broody teenager who went into the woods into this little seating area, and he sat there by himself too. A lot of broody teenagers in uh, Yellowstone on vacation with their with their parents, right? And they're, I, I hate the world. Uh, my parents brought me to this beautiful I place. Know, I I know. Know. Like my friends. Oh my god, I might see a bear, which let me tell you, that's how the whole <laughs> pin between two cars fiasco, not me, another person, happened. We were looking at a black bear 
uh, Sal with two cubs. Beautiful. They were different colors. One was like a lighter brown. One was a dark, like a was a cinnamony. Cinnamony. Well, so one was cinnamony. One was black, and it was awesome. And the night before, we had seen very similar area. Another uh, black bear sow female with uh, a single cub. They were more cinnamon in color. And then as we were driving back after the whole fiasco and we went and did what we were starting to do, uh, we saw just another lone black bear just cross the street in front of us. And we were just like, this place is crawling with black bears. Uh, but what did we, you say it was only like a mile from our Yeah, like a mile childhood. from where we were staying. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> okay, so I want to get, uh, we need to get the milk going because um, that's one of the big ingredients. Uh, one cup. Yeah, it was a great trip. There was some uh, craziness, as, as you can ascertain from this, but, uh, you know, we love it. And we're going to go back and so, oh, we're going to whisk. There it is. I need to whisk this in. And really, I'm not got any heat on this yet. Okay, okay, so what do you have in there so far? I've got one cup of sugar and three tablespoons and one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. And now I'm pouring and mixing um, the milk in, which is one cup of milk. Now I'm using whole milk, again, that's what I use, so. But you wanna get this because the cornstarch is gonna clump. And so you wanna make sure that you are kind of whisking vigorously all over the place. Get into the corners because if not, you're gonna have, again, Holy moly, it's hot everywhere. It was like a heat advisory in southern Idaho. Yeah. And um, uh, my friend Mike, who is in Seattle area, he said it's going to be 108 in Seattle. Yeah, in the in the Pacific Northwest, it's crazy hot right now. And he doesn't have um, air conditioning. Yeah, no. So he was like, I'm going to die. Let's <laughs> hope not. Let's, let's hope not. Okay. <laughs> so then we also want to add... Um, the fresh lemon juice. So I've got a strainer over one cup, and then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to you know squeeze fresh lemon juice. So do that right now, and I'm doing it through here so that it catches the seeds. As good as this thing is, it always seeds always get through. So just give yourself a little bit of a protection here. I think when I made this earlier, that's not a good limit. Oh yeah, seeds are so many. Look at that. <laughs> so many seeds. Um, it took about three, I'd say three lemons to do this. Oh, this is my special one. I did that. My special one. <laughs> We're specialized. <laughs> so that one lemon got us about one quarter of a cup. So with that, we should be able to get two out of this, And but let's just get what we need. Um, what else? The park was um, not nearly as busy as we've seen. Well, it was weird. Like the busy, <clears throat> the the places where people congregate were really busy. Old Faithful is one of them. Yeah, and like the Norris Geyser Basin, but then the places and and the Artist Canyon and all of that. But then everything in between wasn't yeah. and was like really pleasant. Like the valleys, I mean, the places where you really see a lot of animals did not have oh. a ton of people. It was crazy. Um, and there was a section of road totally closed for the summer, yeah. which is, <clears throat> pardon me, one of our favorite areas to go, but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna we'll just go back. Yeah. Yeah. Always. So if you've never been to Yellowstone, go do it. Um, I can't recommend it enough. You know, I grew up in Alaska and people say, well, isn't, you know, isn't it kind of the same? I'm like, nope. <laughs> it's wilderness, obviously, but it feels different. And also uh, there were not like active geo <laughs> natural things going yeah. on that, you know, that I took some great pictures. I'll post them. Um, I'll post them on my, my Instagram, but I'll also post some maybe on the side of the Instagram. We didn't take many. Um, yeah, right there. Half a cup. So, so I'm just gonna again. I'm gonna add this in. This is gonna impart a good flavor, but when we add in, we're gonna add the zest of one whole lemon later. That is gonna really impart flavor because um, it's got the oils and stuff. 
I'm not being ceremonious with this. You don't have to be. <laughs> so, again, this is going to come to heat. And when it comes to heat, um, it's going to boil. It's going to get to a boil ish. And then it's going to really thicken up. And then, so you're going to take it to a good thickness. And then you need to take it off the, you're going to take it off the heat. So I'm going to get this going now. And I'm going to take it to a medium ish. That seems sort of medium. Uh, and we'll let that go. And then always stir, 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 stir. I was doing a lot of things this afternoon trying to get the first pie ready. And I, I let that go a little bit. But while we're letting that go, let's have a lemon drop. Yeah. Um, okay. So lemon drop is. Let me pull up the old recipe here. So we need two ounces of vodka in a, in a we just have some ice, I trusted the thing here. So we're gonna make two of these, one for me and one for Amy, obviously, um, because you know, we deserve it, we did good. <laughs> yeah, I took everything out of my home office today and ripped out the carpet and the carpet tack. I did not do that. Um, and we need, let's see, one half ounce of triple sec, which we bought for our margarita episode. So this thing is really kind of handy in terms of getting us boozy. So with that, and then we do need more lemon juice. So if we only need uh, one ounce of lemon juice. I have, uh, I'm gonna zest the other lemon I have. That's for the special, so that we have enough lemon juice for both of these drinks and the zest as a uh, If we haven't said it before, it's way easier to zest a lemon when it's whole and hasn't been squeezed in there. We there have some we lemons over there if we need more That's for this. True. No, we don't. We just need to zest for this. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just zesting this onto the air. Derby is got to go outside this morning. So he, I left his harness on him and now he thinks he should be outside all the time because he has his harness on. Except for it's super hot outside right now. And he will not like it. And yeah, no, he does not. He's a long haired gray cat. If you've ever been to our house and seen him, he uh, probably wouldn't do where he well in the heat, even though he thinks like, I'll be fine. When we lived in our other house, he would escape and go and just when it was hot like this, just go be underneath the chimney. So I think he's full of crap, but all right. So there's the zest of one lemon. Um, can, you, can you see that? Yes, John's got some good conversions going here. Good, good, John. I'm glad that John's in charge. So when, if you saw the episode last week that John um, then commented on the video that the whole time he, me and the cameraman last week, had it all lopsided, apparently. So <laughs> he did? Yeah, that's what his comment was. So. I don't know if it's true. I haven't watched the episode fully. I, you know, I just watched to make sure we start it does what it's supposed to. Okay, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, lemon juice. So, and we do, yeah, we need more of the animal over there for the juice. Oh. Um, so the food situation in Yellowstone was a lot um, limit, more limited too because they were having trouble, Not tr I guess not trouble with staff, but they said basically the amount, well, I they were. This, they were I having trouble Noah. staffing. Noah, who was in the back of my truck with me while we were both taking pictures, I didn't know Noah before this incident, but I thought, hey, I'm on the truck. He's got a long camera lens like I do. Hey, want to take pictures? And then I found out later, you know, we became, I became like responsible for it because they hit the truck while he was in it. And I thought, oh my God, if Noah falls out and breaks his head, oh my God. Anyways, that didn't happen. But then he Hopefully was, our insurance guy isn't watching right now, and he's like, what the hell? How come these people haven't listen, recorded this? If you are watching, Rich, if you're watching, come on. Uh, <laughs> We're right? calling on Monday. Yeah. Uh, one, so one ounce of this fresh juice. And i got to tell you, use fresh juices. It's going to – it'll make everything – it's going to make everything much better. And then our homemade simple syrup. So How much? One ounce. Okay. Uh, that's why I don't think you need a sugar rim to boot. Yeah, that's a sugar rim. Okay, so and you can see when this starts to get to the point of where it's going to be starting to boil up a little bit, it's, see how it's starting to thicken? That's from the bottom. So we, that's why you want to be pretty judicious with your stirring and not forget like I do. So. 
Because again, as soon as this comes to boil, you know, it's like anything we've made in the past with um, with uh, corn chips. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, it's going to be gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, nicely done, sir. Ooh, look at that. Oh, beauty. I thought you were handing nope, it to me. I am, I, I am handing it to you. Great I thought chest. about doing the lemon spritzer as well, but then I didn't. So. Okay, so this is thing is, uh, is starting to thicken up. Oh, honey, that's gross. It's real gross? Yeah, no one should drink that. Okay. I'll take one for the team. So you can see already, once we start stirring this more, it's going to do what we've seen in the past with other custard bases, and it's going to, you know, the trail. I think I'm good with this. So I'm going to turn this off, because now it's boiling, and that's what we don't want. Well, we don't want it to be overly boiled. Okay, so now we're going to add... We can't really in. see what... Okay, never mind. Yeah, we can. Okay, so now we're going to add in... The oh, we're gonna do the lemon zest because it's in a hot mixture, but we also need to create egg yolks, and I forgot we should have done that, but we'll do it now. So, I just need the egg yolks, and we're gonna, you know, like we have before, we're gonna use the tool that works the best, and I feel is your fingers. Okay, so you were talking about um. The staffing, there's not a lot of yeah. staffing, people didn't. Well, a lot of times it's, it's exchange folks or retired folks who do a lot of the, or college kids who do a lot of the staffing and really it only look like college very kids. few retired folks and mostly college kids. Which was good for them because they said that it wasn't hard to get into the pool because a lot of times it's really, it's kind of a lottery to work there, um, especially Yellowstone if you're working at one of the parks. So, okay. Oops. Wash, whoop, whoop, whoop. Wash, Sorry, people. Wash my hands. No, squirt does not count as fresh lemon juice, silly billy. Who said that? Who do you think? John. Silly John. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move this in here because uh, I want it to bloom. Adding that zest and then the oils and stuff will go in there, and it'll, the hot will help it. Like of, release everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. So now the, this is like an if the. No, it's not technical. Oh, where's the tiny whisk? We need to we need to give this a little bit of beat. Never know what to do when a grown man beatboxes in front of me. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's from uh, us and Ted Lasso. You should watch it. Oh, we've said that before. Okay, I need a spoon. Man, honey, I am it. not chasing you around this kitchen. That's all right. So. That's all right. So we're gonna we need to temper the eggs so they don't turn into scrambled eggs. So I'm just taking a little spoonful here and tiny whisking it together. And I'm gonna do this till it's completely uh, emulsified in here, which doesn't take too long. And then I'm gonna take another two or three, same sort of situation here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm just bringing the, again, like we said, I think we've done this before. We're just bringing the temperature of the eggs up slowly so that they don't curdle and make scrambled eggs. And then this whole thing gets to go back into the mix here. And then once we've got that, then it's going to cool. And then, I cool like the thought, so you know, temperature cool. Um, yeah. And I'll make the next thing. Do one more. Call it good. This is like when I made, ooh, I made ice cream my, my, when my pops was here. I made a cherry vanilla ice cream. I think I told you that. Oh, it was so good. But you do the same thing when you're making cherry, when you're making ice cream. So. All right. So this is. I can feel the temperature has increased, and now we are going into the whole mixture here. And perfect. That doesn't need to be anymore. And now we just uh, whisk some more. And we're gonna once this comes in, that lemony color from 
lemon curd that you kind of expect. Oh, yeah, yeah. It comes from the eggs, not from anything else. <laughs> so, which is pretty funny. At least to me. Okay, so. This gets to go behind me. And sort of just cool down. Because you're probably going, hey, Doug, there's no, there's no sour cream in there. No, no sour cream lemon pie. That's my impression of John. Because I know he's the one who's going to ask. So, this gets to go back here. The grand is going to do its job and suck the heat out of it, which it's which it did ah, really well here, too. Yeah, it did. So, um, you could also put it on a, a rack and do that, but it doesn't, I don't think it works as, as quite as well. Well, if we didn't have granite, then you'd want to put it on, or wood, then we'd want to put it on a rack so you didn't exactly. mess up your countertop. Yeah. You've got laminate. Mm -hmm. I have a great idea. We have a question. There's no cream in the pie? Sour cream. But we don't add, we didn't add that yet, right? Nope, not yet. It's got to cool. Uh, there are 11 people watching at the Morgans. Hello, 11 Everybody people. Everybody get on your device Morgans. right now. <laughs> We need, Tune your, in. we need your separate views. <laughs> Let's get this baby up, up and running. Get that going. All right. I'm doing that, making my uh, lemon drop now because, you know, I deserve one too. Paige and I are talking about the lemon drops. Like, this is like old school, like, takes us back. College. Oh, I'll have a lemon drop, please, because I don't really like the taste of alcohol. It's okay. <laughs> they are... Good. They are delish. All right. So what the other thing we're going to make is the, the store had fresh figs today. So I'm going to make a honey, honey mascarpone fried fig with crumbled homemade bacon on top. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be savory, a little savory. You're going to get some salt in it. It is a thing you just eat by itself? It's just like a little appetizer. Ooh, and it's not on bread or anything? No. Oh my god. You could probably put it on a crustini if you wanted to or something like that, but I mean, uh oh, my bad ice cube is away. Apparently, yours had more. Let's oh, have a drink. That's fair. Want cheers? I do want it. Oh man, it smells delicious. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Oh. Oh my lord. I can drink like a million of those and wake up a little drunk. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the pan first. What I'm going to do is going to blow your mind. So I'm going to actually take, so I made bacon, homemade bacon, before we left. And I cured it and I smoked it myself. And I uh, cut it up, I had it frozen, but I cut it up on the old food slicer. And now I'm going to fry this, and then what I'm gonna, there should be there should be oil uh, um, grease in here from the bacon fat, and then whatever is, we're gonna pour off all but just maybe a couple of tablespoons worth, and we're gonna fry the figs in it face down. Ooh. So while this is happening, so this is bacon you made yourself. This is homemade bacon. I made it. It's delicious. You really should make your own bacon. It's not that hard. Um, Costco has like huge pork bellies. Like for a pretty decent price, it takes the only thing it really takes is time. And if you have a smoker, that helps, but you don't need to. You don't need to have a smoker. The only other special ingredient is pink curing salt. Oh yeah, show them how pink it is. Which you can get from Amazon. Um, so yeah, that's pink curing salt. But yeah, so it's it's look at how weirdly pink that is. Yeah, it helps. Um, it helps. It's got nitrates in it, which helps make the um, it helps make the bacon keep its color and also helps uh, preserve. It. So, but you know, we don't need a gigantic batch. Okay. Oh man, this job is it's really. <laughs> I know, I'm and you don't have your helper today. I know. I've got to go everywhere. I've got to get stuff. Denise, hurry back. <laughs> He's coming home tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So let's get a, a little bowl. We need to take really good. I don't know how good this works. 
Well, she's it, but. Okay, so I I would like to say something about that. Marshmallow cheese. Please, please show the lid. The, it says mascarpone. Mascarpone. I always thought it was mascarpone. Mascarpone. I don't know. I guess it's true. Huh? Yeah, I have been pronouncing it wrong. Apparently. I didn't realize that until now. Maybe that's just Americanized. Mascarpone. That's all I've always ever heard. It. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm really going to, I'm really going to be able to really, I'm going to take a little bit of spoon that we were mixing the egg and the, the stuff together. We're going to put that in. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little that. We'll, we'll tie everything together, right? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I don't have, have store bought honey because, you know, I haven't been to any farmer's markets and bought, be able to buy, buy any local. Um, not local, local, local made honey. We've never had marshmallow cheese. It's delicious. Sweet. Yeah. We're going to use baby whisk for that or tiny whisk. Paper clip. And I'm just taking this to a little bit like uh, bacon bit style. It's going to get crunchy. I think people have had me bacon marshmallow <laughs> before. And people have had it. So, <laughs> the bacon is a side dish for side dish on side dish. I know. It's it's side dish inception. And all I'm doing is like, I'm sort of eyeballing this. I want about that much, which is about a tablespoon of honey. And then I'm just going to mix this together. It's going to add a, a, a nice depth of flavor to an already sweet thing, it's gonna make it more sweet. And then that's gonna be cut, again, with the fattiness from the bacon, and you're gonna get the saltiness and the crunch, oh my God, I'm so excited. We're gonna leave that. So. Wait, I wanna look at that. These Hold are. Hold on, don't, don't, don't address the camera right now. We're gonna look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Don't mind my Triscuit sitting there. <laughs> Okay. okay. Why is this so jerky? Uh, oh, it's because you unscrew the unscrew the this handle. One? No, 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 no. This, this. No, down. This. Yeah, unscrew it. Oh yeah, that's way better. These are mission fakes. I think they look so fantastic. I was like, we gotta do something. This is like, you should take. Everybody needs to take advantage of the fresh fruit that um, is available right now, especially. Like cherries, stone fruit starting to come. So at apricots. Oh, I went out pears. and looked at our pear tree. We have a lot of pears. So many. We don't have as many apples as we did last year, so I don't know what happened there. But we have lots of pears, and so we're okay. gonna make we're gonna make a lot of stuff with pears. It's gonna be great. Okay, so I'm just splitting this, just like that. Look at how beautiful those. Oh yeah. Right. You can and then. Oh yeah, that one's that one's real juicy. That one. So, because I just I love figs. What's that? I love figs. They're delicious, and um, the their their seeds last forever. They found in Egyptian jars figs, and they um, they were able to take the seeds and re and, and basically bring back a sort of extinct. A variety of fig. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. I love horticultural. They've done that a couple of times where they found old palm. They found a, a was a palm or something like that, in which they were able to bring it back from like not being there. I might have taken this a little too far. It's going to be fine though. So this is too high. Down. Swirl that around because that's just probably the right amount that I want. And oh man, just gonna put that in there. I don't want to take these too long, so I just want to get them in, get them where they're gonna get a nice brown on them, and then we're gonna get them out. You didn't need to take any bacon out of there? I did. I mean, fat? No, there wasn't that much. Ooh, that sounds like burning. It's very hot. I've got it, I've got it off. The heat, the carryover heat will do Okay. Ooh, I'm zooming in on that, so don't address the camera. Okay. 
Mm. Yep. Good dodge. That has so much dog hair on it. It's right. surprising because we got the dogs bathed and brushed through and everything and still they're yeah. shedding like crazy. There's, there's still weeds of hair. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweed. Rolling around. All right, so let's take a look at some of these I had already in here. Not quite well enough. Getting there. Oh yeah. You'll know because they're gonna have like a you know, they're gonna darken, like that's starting to get there. Okay, we're zoomed in. Oh yeah. Well that's doing that, I'm gonna get a plate. Yeah. So fast. Well that's also happening. They are bacon. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's so hot right now. Hey, thanks for the new subscribe out there. Uh, I think you're with Maddie Inferno. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, you know, all the subscribes help. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, it really helps us out in the hell run. Ooh, they're starting to smell so good. Softening up a little bit. Oh yeah, okay. So can you see how it's starting to like okay, let me zoom. brown up a little bit on the edge there? Yes. That's what we're looking for. So these are gonna be real, oh yeah, that one's pretty much almost done. I'm, I'm, I'm sort excited of, about this. Yeah, I'm real excited too. I'm like a, a sort of a. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'll flip it just a little bit. Um, kind of making this up as I go along. Can you remind me what's what's in this mixture over here? The mascarpone mixture. Yeah. Honey, mascarpone, and whatever was on tiny whisk and the spoon for the lemon stuff. Oh, you could put like uh, chopped pistachios in there. Oh, too. I was, uh, I looked for, I was like, do we have pistachios? Because I was looking mm -hmm. for them, but I couldn't find any that were non shelled. And I was like, I'm not buying a pound of pistachios. I don't really care for them all that much. And what? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think we have any, but. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Still learning about you. Yeah, well, 19 years in. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it because of the work you have to do or what? No, I don't know. I think, like, you know, that's why I don't like, eat, I don't eat peanuts either. Mm. I mean, so much work, and most people don't, like, do it right. They just sort of, I don't know. Uh, they do it half ass and they throw their shells on the ground. And, Oh. So. Okay. Wow. That's gonna have a little bit of bacon because I made it. I have a muck. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is I mean I asked you, but I, I hope everybody's well. Hope your summer's good. I hope you're staying cool. Um if you're in local hope you have no fires. No, yeah, that's good. No fires. Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, thanks. Turn heat off. Oh man, see they're kind of jumbo. Do you see that? They're kind of moving. Oh yeah. Like Mexican jumping beans. No, I don't. Oh, yep. I'm sure enough. Sure. Sure. Just because I said no. <laughs> Funny. Okay. I feel like. How are you going to get that uh, yum yum on the figs? Uh, you going to pipe it? You gonna... No. I'm going to go get another spoon. We'll get a... Of course you are. 
We love the dirty dishes. <laughs> All right. The other thing we need to do is we need a cup of heavy cream. <laughs> oh, you're reusing something. Good job. And it go, it's going to go into our mixer back here uh, because we need to make whipped cream. So oh, I'm extended. Go to the other side. We can. Nope. To be extra awkward. That's not hard. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen this show? I mean, it's awkward every time. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I need two tablespoons of wet, just white granular sugar. Oh, John's going to have a comment about that. Yeah. Well, I don't really care. It's my house. I do it You make well, those cream. got nice and soft, yeah. So they're gonna be real good to eat. Oh, that one might be a little too soft, maybe it'll firm up once it's off the heat. Maybe let's hope. It's you know, we caramelize a little bit of the sugars in there, yeah. The coloring is beautiful, but like, oh, yeah, they're real soft. Some of them. Maybe too much? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Again, we'll we're, putting, you know. we're putting sort of room temperature um, marshmallow honey mixture on them. And that's, I mean, how can I do bad? Look at them. I made so many of them. I could have probably not made them. Tell that. us how to live our life. Yeah, exactly. We don't need that. So. I'm going to take one of these. We're just going to do the dollop right there. I'm not going to dollop all of these. I'm going to dollop like two or three. And then I'm going to dollop the rest of them. Or four. Whatever. And then I put the bacon on it and it's going to blow it in his mind. So I think it is. It's gonna get a little melty, the cheese. Mm -hmm. So I drop this. We'll get that real soft one right there. So you can see we're playing with texture here a little bit. I know, it's, I know that you're like, well, that's, that's like a real, like a real cook thing. But, <laughs> you know. I don't think anybody's <laughs> Don't take the fantasy away from me. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. You should be. Everybody should be excited about everything I make. You should be wanting to make it. You should be like, oh my God, that is the best. Oh, see, see? It's like ice cream falling off of this thing. Oh my God. Now. Wait, I might need a little plate. Yeah, you're going to need one because it's hot. I might want some bacon on my bacon, as I always said. A little bit more bacon. Oh. Okay. Eat that. Ooh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, wait. I'm going to zoom in. Hold I still. Mean, I'm not best at the presentation, but that's not bad. Better have it. Thanks. Let's taste it. Let's have it. Let's taste I'm it. scared. Is it really hot? Not terrible. You taste it. Oh, gosh. It just slid in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> like I say this a lot, but there's so many. It's like soft and gooey, like the the date itself or the fig itself is, and then you get the creaminess of the marshmallow honey mix, which is just sweet, sweet, and it's a different sweet than the fig. And then you get the crunchy saltiness of the bacon. Oh man, I'm gonna have another one. I'm going to have another one. I made them. I can do what I want. Mm. Well, they are messy, mm. though. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Yeah. Mm. That's a winner, folks. 
That's a bonus. You get a bonus. I didn't put that in the title today. I wanted to surprise you because it came up with it on the fly. Okay, let's check this. Yep. It's not not all the way, but you can see, look, at, oh, yeah. See, look at the texture of it. It's much. So now that it's cool, pretty much. How cool? Um, like this cool? Get your get your thinger. Mm. I mean, it's, it's still too hot. No. You know, I'm not your laser guy. Where's your laser guy? It's in there. It's like 106 degrees. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Don't put that back in there. I have to wash it. Jeez. Uh, this is uh, half a stick of butter, one quarter tea, uh, tea, uh, tablespoons. What? Yeah. One, one, one quarter tablespoon? No, one quarter cup, four tablespoons. John, <laughs> any more unnecessary conversions out there? <laughs> and um, what else am I doing here? Oh, yeah. And then I'm letting this. Sour cream? Well, no, the, the butter has to go in first. Mm. And we're melting this. this the soft, this is room temperature, but by the way, you could also. How come it. you didn't cut it up? Because it's going to melt no matter what. Yeah, but if you cut it up, it'll melt faster. We have time to kill it. Surface area. It's fine. Look, it's all, look at that. It's all already almost all melted. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. Once this is integrated and uh, bored of the emulsion, excuse me. Come on. That last little bit's going to hang on, just to prove you wrong. It's always that way. It was just two light clumps. In the I'm really giving it the business. Now you see the color, right? You see how it's kind of that lemony kind of color. What comes next? Oh, I didn't put the sugar in there. I, was, I got I got distracted by it. Okay. Understandable. Yeah, they're really good. Nope. Those Do I, need I think I would um cook the fig Two slightly pounds. less next time. Yeah, probably. I check them all it would be uh, it's just easier to eat as a finger food. You don't have to cook them at all. I mean, you can high, high heat grill them and they'd be fine too. Uh, so I'm just going to turn this on for about two or three minutes. I'm going to watch it. The butter is now incorporated. And now we need a cup of sour cream. What is the melting point of butter, Doug? Room temperature? Nate would like to know. Who? Nate. I don't know, Nate. I wish I did. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, okay. We need one cup. So I'm just going to take this. This is extra sour sour cream. I don't know if you can smell it. It's got, it's got real pungent. Smelts it? Yeah. You should, you should smell it? No. It's just, <laughs> like, it's just like tart. It's just more tangy than. Yeah. I like it. Really gonna kick the volume of the whole thing here. I used to only like Newton sour cream, remember? I know. But it's hard to find. We are brand loyal. A lot we of are. Times. But um, Winko has Newton sour cream. But Daisy's good. Yeah. So this is gonna, again, this is gonna lighten it like considerably. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. Wait, we'll talk about that. So you're going to get the tangy from the sour cream and the tart from the lemon, and they're going to play together in a way that it's going to be so good. It's going to kind of even each other out, actually. I thought that pie that we had was really good, but it, it did even did even out the, um, the taste, I think. So just, yes, yes. So it wasn't like overwhelming, like, Oh, it's so tart. What I was surprised about and what you're recreating here is just a whipped topping. And when I've had it in the past, the sour, there was sour cream in the top layer in that whipped topping. Huh. 
Well, that's this was. Would you be interested in adding sour cream to the whip? <laughs> nope. I, I knew it. <laughs> you know, you gotta you gotta go with what you know. Uh, okay, so anybody else have you ever had like a sour cream pie that had the sour cream layer on the top? That seems too much to me. No, yeah. not not solid sour cream. I don't. But like sour cream in the whipped chocolate. And then a much thinner, like quarter inch. I'm saying. Okay. So we've done this before. Sorry for my back here. Yeah. We are looking for this like soft peaks like that. Um, because once we get it into the pan, um, I'll say that for later. Uh, <laughs> all right. So now that our, here's our pie pan. This needs to go here. This goes in. This left this. Oh my. Yeah, yes. See, somebody. Listen, you eat it the way you yeah. want to. But we're not doing it. Several here. people know what I'm talking about here. Whatever. If you're cooking on this show, then you can do it however you want. <laughs> but since I'm doing the cooking and all the prep and everything else, Oh. You can you can eat the pie. And it's enjoy true. It the you way it you is. can be you can be angry today because I took a nap. Yeah. Well, I did do a lot of work today. I told you to take a nap. You weren't going to. You looked yeah. at me and said, "I'm not. I don't need to take a nap." I'm like, really? <laughs> so I'm just spreading it, making sure it's kind of even. Gosh, that looks so delicious, just like that. How's that taste? Is it super good? Yeah. Oh, is this mine? Can I lick it? You can. You don't need it? Um, no, because I'm going to use this. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take our topping. Just whip it. Wow. You know. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, everybody. <laughs> that is... Like that's the business. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna zoom in. Wow. People tune in now, they're like, why is there bacon next to this pie? <laughs> that's how we roll. We're just gonna this one has a much more volume than the other one. Yep, I'm gonna stick my tongue out because I'm sort of excited about this. So, but why? What's the difference? Why does that have more volume? You let the whipped cream go longer, or there was just more altogether, or Maybe. what? All right. Uncover in your fridge for two to three hours. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll oh, man, I wish I had something to go look at. I could switch to this. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So I'm now. Come on. So that's real jiggly. Are you doing a fancy switcheroo? I sure am. I mean, this one, you can tell because I made a fancier, I made a fancier pinch. Shut up. Oh. Yeah, why? Because I was lazy on the second one. Oh, uh, well, that one looks lovely. Look at it. So the other one had a lot of jiggle still. This one still has jiggle. And oh, honestly, is it not cold enough? Honestly, I would probably let it go longer. It's been in there for about two hours. It does look gorgeous. So Hulk says it looks gorgeous. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I can help. It looks make beautiful. Forks. Oh, you know what would be even better? What? If you had like a little bit of, like just for presentation, if you had like a little bit of lemon zest or like a little bit of lemon sugar that you could just like sprinkle on the top, so beautiful. Yeah, you could do that. I don't have that. But it would be really pretty. It would be. Oh, uh, so if you're going to make this for a company, do that. 
I would make this pie the night before. That way you have, because I'm going to cut it. In you could have put it in the freezer, though, to we, pull it down. Yeah, we could. I mean. Firm it up yeah. a little bit faster. So like, Are you going to? We need to look at it. If it doesn't. If it's going to. Well. It's yeah. ours, though, right? Who cares? We don't yeah. care. We're only cutting it like this for show because really Doug and I would just eat it out right. of the pan. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, we're trying to be polite, but. <laughs> this is not what would happen in real life. <laughs> you guys, uh, I think we've mentioned it before. The Hunt is one of our favorite movies these days. And there's a part of that movie where there's a woman who gets trapped in a, one of the traps. And she's like, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm going to eat a whole pie. And so Andy said that on Saturday, uh, Monday night. And we went and got pie. So, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, real, we real just pie. got we just got little individual little baby pies. Yeah, we, we did, did eat, eat a whole pie each, yeah, I was but it was an individual pie. pie. <laughs> I know. I mean, hey, there's our kegerator in its new <clears throat> position in case you haven't seen it. Yeah. Dog toys all over the place. Now, come on, Doug. Come on, pie. You can do it. You won't make a mess. You can do it. You can do it. You can. Oh, wow. That, wow. That's way better than I thought was going to happen. Sort of. I didn't get to the bottom as much as I wanted. If you put it in the freezer, oh, the whipped cream can be come heavy from the condensation when it defrosts. Thank you for the warning. That's great to know. We would not want that because that will make it look good. Okay. I'm going to eat a bite of this and then I'm going to give it to Amy. I don't have a fork. No, I'm going to give you this fork. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's get it. What happened on the side there? It, it snuck through the freezer. It's not fully set. Oh, it's still going to be delicious. Okay. Whipped cream. Whipped Piper, sauce. get out of the kitchen. Mm. <clears throat> she went back the other way <laughs> instead of taking it's the quick so route. Good. Like I said, still very limiting, which is really good. <clears throat> so it does <laughs> make me literally. I'm drowning out my own sweat, but it has the tang that you're looking that you, that you get from the sour cream. I <clears throat> excuse me. I do think I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator and let it set up. We'll probably let these set up overnight. But you can, mm. right? It's like 10 times better than the one This is had. way more lemony than that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. So, honey, it's, good job. Yeah. I'm pretty good at making pies. Mm -hmm. think, like, mm -hmm. like, it's a skill I learned from my mother and my grandmother because I think I've said it before on Thanksgiving. They would spend like the night before Thanksgiving or two days before Thanksgiving, like making like I swear to God, it was like ten pies. Because my dad and my grandfather would each eat like a coconut cream pie or a lemon cream pie or something like that. I don't know. But with a little prep, you could have this in a couple of days. I mean, really, you could start the crust in the morning. You could have the pie going right at the same time, all the filling. Everything cools it and then put it in the fridge for the rest of the day. You can have a nice pie for dinner. It's really going to be good on these cold nights or the uh, hot, cold, night. hot nights. So the, get yourself a nice lemon-based cocktail. <laughs> have something nice and you know, rich for dinner. This will really cut through all of that. And, you know, treat yourself. As they say on Park and Rec, treat yourself and make a pie. It's not that hard. Make it like this. I will, I'm going to put the crust recipe back up uh, because... We did have a suggestion okay. up here, hold on, about pie crust, you know, if you don't want to make it from scratch, there is a Trader Joe's pie crust that's really good. That comes from Ping. All right. Thanks, Ping. So if you don't have time to make your own I'm pie crust, it's, at least you can make your own innards. The, a pie crust like this one, though, only takes about 30 minutes total. Well, some people don't have that, honey. Well, or they don't want to. Get it together, folks. All right. Like me. I don't want to. That's why you have me. <laughs> Thanks for coming this week. Uh, I hope you liked last week's episode. It seemed like a lot of you did. Sorry I put it up late. We were traveling that on the day that it was supposed to go up. Or we were doing something. I don't remember. We forgot. We're but human. You guys watched it, so you must have liked it. Um, and with that, you know, 
let's 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 uh, you know be kind, be loyal, do something nice for somebody next this next week, and uh, we love you. We'll see you next week. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>